Hello, I'm Andrew, this is Dougal, and in the second of four videos about my new Kia EV6, this is about why I chose a Kia EV6 as my next tow car. Hey Dougal. So last year, when I was one of the driving judges at the Caravan and Motorhome Club Tow Car of the Year Awards, I was absolutely blown away by the electric cars we had on test. What I love most about towing with an electric car is that it is so smooth, quiet and stress-free, especially when manoeuvring your caravan on site. There is no revving of the engine, no noisy clatter and no vibration. At the Caravan and Motorhome Club Tow Car of the Year Awards 2022, one car in particular stood out to me, the Skoda Enyaq. But the Enyaq comes with the disadvantage to the Caravaner and that is its towing limit of just 1,000 kilos. The only mainstream UK caravans you can tow with it are the Bailey Discovery D42 and the Eldis Explore 304. And even with the Eldis, you can't load it up to its full empty PLM of 1043 kilos. Now you can get an all-wheel drive Skoda Enyaq that can tow 1200 kilos but it's more expensive and it has slightly less range than its two-wheel drive cousin. What I was looking for was something with a decent towing limit, a good long range, fast charging capacity so I can charge on a long towing journey and at a decent price in the low 40s. Enter the Kia EV6 and the Hyundai Ioniq 5. Sharing the same platform, the Kia EV6 and the Hyundai Ioniq 5 are built with minor differences. Both models start in the low £40,000 and offer a towing limit of, wait for it, 1,600 kilos. A curb weight just shy of two tonnes means that 1,600 kilos is well within the 85% towing guideline. On top of all this, both offer a fantastic claimed range of over 300 miles solo, super fast charging at well over 200 kilowatts an hour, and the revolutionary V2L, which I shall talk about in a separate video. So, why did I go for the Kia instead of the Hyundai? As I live in rural Scotland, I had to travel to Inverness to visit dealerships and quite simply, I preferred the way that I was treated at the Kia dealership than the way I was treated at the Hyundai dealership. At the Kia dealership, Dixons of Inverness, I was dealt with by Brian, a genuine man who operates at a human level and whose professionalism comes from a good heap of common sense and empathy. Brian understood that to a caravaner like me, the tow bar is an essential part of the car. Dixons fit the tow bars themselves and were able to offer me the complete package. Their competitor, who sells Hyundai, doesn't operate in the same way. I didn't feel that I was treated with the same degree of respect and common sense. It was more slick marketing and tick boxes. But crucially, the, their Hyundai competitors, they, when I mentioned the tow bar, they weren't really interested in the tow bar. It was almost like they were too important to fit tow bars and they farmed that kind of thing out to their subcontractors. Kia also offers a seven year warranty compared with Hyundai's five years. Now you can watch all the YouTube videos you like and read all the reviews you can but one thing you can only find out by going for a test drive is the level of customer service you will receive at a dealership. Basically, it was the high level of customer care that made me choose the dealer. And by default, that meant that I ended up with Kia. Now you might like to know that before I actually decided on buying the car, I did write to the press offices of Kia, Hyundai and Skoda telling them what my plans were. I wondered if they would say want to partner with me because this I feel is really exciting and you might like to know that not one of those manufacturers even answered my email. So Kia, 
if you want to sponsor some videos, call me. In the next video, I'll take you through an introduction to the Kia EV6 as a tow car, which of course will completely apply to the Hyundai Ioniq 5. So please join us for that. Do subscribe if you don't already and get notifications if you don't already. Please give this video a thumbs up and it just leaves me to say from Dougal and from me, thanks for tuning in. There. Do you like the EV6, Dougal? Yeah, you do actually, yes. Actually, Dougal really does like the car. It's so quiet and smooth. Hey, although we could still say that he never smiles. <laughs>